On today's tutorial, we take a look at how to make different transitions for different scenes live in OBS. Let's take a look! Heyo, I'm Andy Lippy, and welcome to StreamAid, the show that gives you all the best streaming tips that the pros want to keep a secret. Most importantly, there's no self-promotion, I'm here to teach, not to preach, but all my info is below if you do want to know. Let's get on with the show! So if you guys have seen my previous videos, you'll know that this is a bit of an advanced tutorial in OBS, so if you're new to it, this is not a tutorial for you. Jump on over to the OBS website, the link's coming below, we're looking at the Transition Matrix plugin. Download it with this little white button here, if you do need any help at all, all the information is just below here. As soon as you've got it all installed, open up OBS. For this tutorial, I've set up four different scenes. I've got my camera A, camera B, I've got my gaming scene for my uh, Elgato, and I've also got the PC screen just there. At the moment, it's all set up with a basic transition of cut, so I'll just show you that on screen. So they'll just cut between each scene just there. What I want to get out of this is I want to create a fade camera for each of the talk scenes, so I want this camera to fade into this camera, but any time I go to the gaming scene or to the PC scene, I want it to do a full screen transition. So it'll cover the whole screen and allow the scene to change in the background. Right, to do so, we go into tools, go to transition override matrix just here. I'll just give you a brief look at what this is. So you'll see this big grid. It can get super complicated depending on how many scenes you have got. The ones on the left here are the origin and the columns are the destination. What that means, the scene here that you can see, the talk scene 1, so that's camera A that I've got, wants to go to talk scene 2, so anytime I create that transition, so from camera 1 to camera 2, it will just do none. So I'm going to change that to a fade, I'm also going to change the camera 2 back to camera 1 to change that to a fade as well. So let's just do that as a test, hit close, I'm going to just take this out of studio mode, going to go to camera 1, Move to camera two, and you see how it fades now. Back to camera one, it fades again, okay? So let's open that back up into transition over our matrix, just to let you know what the non means. Anytime that it says non, that is just gonna use the default scene transition that you've got down here. So if I set this to something like my glitch transition, anytime now that one of these say none, it'll automatically use the glitched transition. So if I close that down, give you an example, set this out of studio mode and go to scene one, glitch transition, move to camera two, fade transition, move to the game and scene, glitch transition, and so on. So there we have it, duckies. That's exactly how to make different transitions for different scenes live in OBS. I mean, the possibilities with this, again, are endless. There's so many things that you can do. Just make sure you're using the correct file type, like a WebM file, just so you can keep the files as small as possible so the load time and all the frames run smoothly, not kind of being harsh on your processor or anything like that. But let me know what you get up to below. And if you've got any questions at all, put that below or just come and drop into one of our streams and I'll be able to help you out. But until next time, guys, put your rope over the stone. See you soon.